Hello and welcome back to the channel. I raise the seat a little bit. So we got a call for a 2020 Honda Civic, I think it is. Uh, note said the guy's got a problem with the suspension. Called the customer up, asked him what was going on. And he says he doesn't know if he blew a bag or busted a line for the air suspension on his Honda. Said he couldn't get a jack under it because it's too low. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show up and see what's going on with it, take a peek, possibly put a um, skate upside down, let him drive onto it so that we can get a jack underneath and pick it up, take the wheel off and see what is going on and if it's something that could be repaired and send him on his way or see what we got to do to get it on the bay. Um, not sure again I don't know what's up with the, situ uh, with the suspension I don't know if it's like the whole car can air up except for one side I'm not sure um, or like three bags can go up or struts I don't know what he's got with suspension wise but we're gonna figure it out we're gonna check it out and see what's going on I'll be there in about two minutes um, to assess the situation and see what we can do for the guy whether we're gonna tell him whether we're gonna jack it up take the wheel off let him fix the airline and then send him on his way or what? I don't know. We'll find out. See you in a couple minutes. Oh, this guy's literally outside of the place. What side is it? Driver side, passenger? Driver side. Alright. Now do does this side air up at all in the front? It does not air up anymore. Okay. So then both both, both are both dropped are right now. Yeah. So it's not the bags then, it's something to do with the lines. It's the lines. Yeah. Okay. Alright. The, um, the line on the driver's side. Okay. Um all right, open up the hood. Let's see where the airlines are, where they go, and try to see what we can do. I'm just gonna take some photos. You can start the car if you want so the battery don't die because I see you got the hazards on. All right. Figure this out. Just gonna take my photos real quick and then we'll figure out the best way to get it on the truck if we have to. I would have preferred to come with my other truck because that one's got dollies, so I don't have to like try to figure it out, I can just pick it right up. Alright, so this is the airline, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, so it's speaking from the one uh, that is there in my suspension, right the next to the Yeah, I'm just checking right. something real quick. And the compressor's on, right? 
All right. So when you hit, when you hit it, does it go up at all? Like anything on that yeah, side, it'll, or? It'll go up to ten this high. They would just drop instantly. I think my line disconnected. Okay. Let me grab a flashlight, and then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to put a skate underneath this, so that we can kind of go up just a little bit, and then like kind of climb up, so we can get a jack under it, take the wheel out, and then probably fix it right there, and then you can drive it, yeah. or tow, whatever. I, I want to try to see what I can do to help you out, bro. Yeah, let me get a flashlight. Let me take a look at what we're doing. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna grab a flashlight. I'm also gonna grab some skates. Do me a favor and hit the switch. I want to see if it's blowing out straight. These are what, air struts? Yeah, air struts. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh... I'm pretty sure it's my air line. Yeah, I, well, I can see the line moving a little bit. Um, Drive forward a little bit. Then it kind of like work this like one by one till I get it so I can put this one underneath it and kind of get it like a ramp it's automatic stick okay um All right, come forward a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Hold it. All right, come forward. Good, 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 good. Come on, good, good. A little more, good. A little more, A little more. Right there, hold it. All right, come forward.
Forward. Like that. Alright, put in park, put the parking brake. Let me grab my jack and see if I can get under there with the low profile jack. And then if not, then we move on to adding more of a platform. Alright, hopefully we can fit it under there. Dude, this jack is falling apart, man. The handle fell off. This piece here is like falling off. Good thing I got a warranty on it. That's the only problem when it comes to air ride, man. Yeah. You kind of got to have like, like bump stops, you know? So if it something blows out, you're not on the ground. You know what I mean? I need, I need to start investing in that, man. All right, let's see. All right. All right, you got the key for the wheel? Come on, Jack, don't be a jerk. Got the whole damn car lifted up right now. <laughs> Jeez. Do me a favor, tap the air ride and see if it'll bring it down a little bit with just some pressure. All right, do it again. Okay, that gave us a little bit more room. All right. You got my uh, impact. that and that. I'm glad you don't got those thousand dollar lug nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I seen some guy with them online he's like putting on like there's like paper material over them. I'm like, dude, I can't, man. I get it, because I, I used to have a 1986 Toyota Corolla hatchback. Oh, yeah? You know? Yeah. That was before the drifting scene hit the U.S. Yeah. I sold it right before, like an idiot, bro. Oh. Yeah. Dude, I, I want to, like, I want to, like, knock myself out sometimes. <laughs> it was beautiful, man. You know? And then I had that one, and I had a, the same uh, 87 two-door, but the coupe, the trunk oh, one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And prior to the prior to the hatchback, I had a 1980 Toyota Corolla hatchback. I was big into that shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. Yes, the airline popped out. Put on the grass because I don't want to damage the rim. All right. So the airline is what popped out of the air strut. So, we're gonna put it on. Hopefully help my man out. And take care of that problem for him. Now hopefully we got tools. All right.
Gotta use some better fittings, man. <sighs> Definitely would recommend some better quality fittings. You got wrenches or no? Wrenches? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tighten it up. So I recommend changing that fitting. That's what it is. The airline popped out. So that fitting is the line goes on the little nipple like this, but there's a plastic fitting on there. You want to get rid of that. You want to get like the metal fitting, the copper one, like the brass, because that the plastic is soft. You want something that's going to squeeze on there, compress on there, and like stay on there. Yeah. So I would suggest changing them all around. And what happened here that they had, why they put this connection and not just put it straight through? Uh, so it blew out yesterday. This one? The, uh, this one? The line, yeah. The line broke? Yeah, it, it was, somehow it was rubbing on my wheel. Wow. I think it was where I was airing out. So like the wheel and like the line got caught. Yeah, you gotta, so you gotta figure that out. Yes. You can always change this and put like a 45 you could put a 45 compression fitting or a 90 and go that way with it. You yeah. know what I mean? But I, I would probably go 45 so it goes down but goes that way. So when you dump out, this doesn't stay close that way. You know what I mean? Right, right. Alright, you got it. Let me see what you got. You got wrenches? One wrench. All right, let me see if we got something else here so we can tighten it up. <laughs> oh, let's see. Do I have, oh, perfect, I got an adjustable. Oh, you lucky, man. I got one. Yeah. I don't, if I was in my other truck, I have a whole damn toolbox. <laughs> you know, like I said, man, back in the days, you know, we used to drive around with toolboxes because of stuff like this, you know? Something happens, you want to be able to fix it right on the road. I need to start, man. Yeah, just listen. All you got to do is have basic setup, man. You know? Basic stuff. You know? Small bag of, like, wrenches, and you don't need a whole crazy tool set. Right. You know? Adjustable wrench, channel locks, vice grip. You know? And then, you know, some basic tools. But the adjustable wrenches are great because you can have, you know, one of these will cover you, you know what I mean? Right. So you carry two of these and then look, right here, you know? Easy. That's the only problem, man, when it comes to air ride. Nice. Yeah, I love air ride, man, because oh, I got, too, yeah, like, my favorite is like for the, I love mini trucks. Oh, oh dude, yeah. You know, so like, sick. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. my favorite truck is a 1988 S10 square body, the first original, Ooh. the first gen square bodies. Yeah. Those are my favorite, man. I had two of them when I was younger. Two but of them? I, yeah, but I was too busy working. I didn't have time. So I wound up selling it, man. Yeah. And now I want one. And then I, uh, I wound up getting a Ford Ranger. And I wanted to bag that. But it turned out to be 4x4. Oh, 4x4? Yeah. Oh, so I was like, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I love. Yeah, let me tell. I love all the small trucks, man. They're amazing. Man. Yeah, yeah you got the Mazdas. Oh, yeah, the, dude, the Mazdas are nice too. Dude, you see all the ones in Japan? Yeah. The mini trucks in Japan <laughs> are <laughs> wicked, dude. Heck yeah, dude, my boss, he's getting one. He ordered one. They are yeah. wicked, man. Yeah, I love them, dude. And they got some badass trucks, dude. Yeah. All right, let's put this on and see how it works. So this one is the only one set up like that? Yeah. This side? Yeah, this is the only okay. side. Okay, yeah, so what I, like I said, what I recommend is 
I would just change those couplings, like on the strut itself, and do 45s and angle them that way. You know what I mean? And then just run the tubing like along the firewall like that, and then coming back this way. Yeah, just you want it so that when you drop the car, it pushes it away. You know, it doesn't go like towards the car. And now, now your car's gonna be on YouTube, dude. It's gonna be on YouTube? Yeah. Word. It's gonna be on YouTube, bro. <laughs> What's the channel, man? I'll support it. Uh, it's T-O-W-M-A-N-127. T-O-W-M-A-N-127. Like Toe Man 127. You been doing YouTube for a while? Yeah, I did it for a few years, man. But I just, I haven't been consistent with it. Oh. I've been doing, I'm doing too many things, man. So like once in a while, I'll put up a video here and there. And then... Like lately, I've been trying to get back into it where I'm putting like, you know, the work in. Yeah, so I would change that fitting to a 45. All right, do me a favor, hit the bags, bring it down a little bit, and then I'll lower the car. Yeah, suspension, well, don't don't deflate, I want you to inflate the bags, yeah. Like you're gonna raise the car up. There you go. Is that all the way? How high, does it go high enough where I can take the jack out or should I lower it on the, the blocks? Yeah, let me lower it on this. Alright. Alright, now back it off. Just go nice and easy, don't go too fast. I want to be able to get that out of the way. Got it. Got it. Go easy. Got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Got it. Oh, you can go forward. Either way, good. Right there. Okay, yeah, come forward. There you go. It's all good. That's gonna be three hundred dollars. Nah. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, let me take care of everything here. He's all set up. He's back on the road. All good to go. I'm gonna put all my stuff away and head out of here. As always, give the video a uh, thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click on that notification bell. You'll get notified every time I upload. Peace.